This historical event is documented by an author named Des Ekin, and this book was released in Ireland. It is called The Stolen Village, Baltimore and the Barbary Pirates. In June of 1631, pirates from Algiers and armed troops of the Turkish Ottoman Empire, led by the notorious captain, Moret Reis, stormed ashore at the little harbor village of Baltimore and West Cork. They captured almost all the villagers and bore them away to a life of slavery in North Africa. The prisoners were destined for a variety of fates. Some would live out their days chained to the oars as galley slaves, while others would spend long years in the scented seclusion of the harem or within the walls of the Sultan's palace. The old city of Algiers, with its narrow streets, intense heat, and lively trade, was a melting pot where the villagers would join slaves and freemen of other nationalities. Only two of them ever saw Ireland again. Des Aiken's exhaustive research illuminates the political intrigues that ensured the captives were left to their fate and provides a vivid insight into the kind of life that would have awaited the slaves amid the sooks and the seraglios of old Algiers. This event in 1631 was also known as the Sack of Baltimore. The history of Ireland and Algeria is intertwined, not only by the Sack of Baltimore, there's also new evidence that the Celts may have been in Algeria. In the several years preceding this, Algerian pirates had gone to several different countries. In 1627, Algerian pirates raided Iceland. In 1631, Algerian pir pirates raided Southern Ireland. In 1645, Algerian pirates attempted an attack on Edinburgh, Scotland. This caused the English naval bombardment of Algiers in 1655. At the height of the wars, in the early 1600s, Algiers, with perhaps 40,000 inhabitants, held as many as 20,000 Christians for ransom. In the 18th century, Western states forced an end to corsair activities, and Algiers began to specialize in grain exports. The smiles that once you gave to me. This information was actually taken from tablets that record this information. One tablet recorded in 1631 that two Algerian pirate crews landed in Ireland, sacked Baltimore, and carried off its inhabitants to slavery. Another recalls the romantic escape of Ida MacDonnell, the daughter of Admiral Ulrich, Consul General of Denmark, and the wife of the British Consul. When Lord Exmouth was about to bombard the city in 1816, the British Consul was thrown into prison and loaded with chains. Miss McDonough, who was but 16, escaped the British fleet, disguised as a midshipman, carried baskets of vegetables in which the baby was hidden. Miss McDonald subsequently married the Duke Talleyrand Marigord and died in Florence in the 1800s. Among later the residents commemorated was Edward Lloyd, who was the first person to show the value of Esparto grass for the manufacture of paper and started an industry that was important to Algeria. I think it's kind of interesting that Algerians may not know that they have a lot more in common with Ireland than previously thought. This is Kathleen Woolrich for The Little Book of I, talking about some of the influences of some of the people that the Algerian pirates have captured through the years. Thank you so much for listening.